Hey guys, Hello Bella here. In this video, I'm going to be going over a Chrome extension that is for Merch by Amazon. The extension is called Productor, and it is a free extension, and it is extremely useful. So stick with me in this video, and we'll talk about some of the features. So this is something that you can easily download to your Google Chrome and use as a resource to do Merch by Amazon res uh, research, but also to save you a ton of time in uploading. So we'll just go through some of the key features. Um, I'll hover over really quick and let you guys see what some of those are. Um, this is uh, basically a list of everything that they have and basically so we'll just start, start going through and look at everything. Um, this is their Productor Manage. Once you've installed the Chrome extension this stuff will automatically pop up. You can see your sales, how many products you have live, how many you've sold, reviews, um, you can see how many live designs you have, how many have sold, and you can see your top brands as well as all of your shirts. And here you can see all time sales, previous month, current month, previous seven days, last seven days. So it pretty much does everything that Pretty Merch does, except it does it for free. So um, this also tells you how many you have processing, how many you have rejected, um, your upload limits, your tier, etc. So let's hop over to this other page and I'll show you some more things that it can do. Okay, under the Productor Statistics page, you can go deeper in to look at um, certain periods, 7 days, 14, 30, 60, 90, year-to-date, all-time, and you can see that um, I had a really good day yesterday compared to normal. I did $74 in a day, and today so far I've only sold one shirt, so only $1.45 today. Um, let's see you can also sort through everything you can export it you can um, save it as a spreadsheet there's just a whole lot of tools that you can use but probably the most important features are when it comes to uploading so basically you can save a draft and that way you don't have to keep doing it so say that you know for sure that you always upload um, a standard a long sleeve a raglan and a pop socket you can hit continue and you can go down to the very bottom and you can type in your title up here and then you can actually save all of that as your publish settings and then the next time that you hit create all of that stuff will already be pre-filled so you can also go in depth as to select the colors that you want to use every time select your price and everything that you fill out on this page once you hit save publish settings it's going to pop up the next time that you you select um, to create a shirt so if you want to have multiple um, templates that you use you can click save as Productor draft and then your drafts will be up here so you can select whichever draft you want. So let's look at some of the features here. Um, I'll just go ahead and upload one of my old shirts so we got you guys can look at what, what all this can do. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, say I want to put this on a asphalt and these are the colors that I would normally put a design like this on and I just want to do uh, men's and women's and I want to go in at $14.99 and let's see I probably won't do a raglan since that's a white font I'll just do a long sleeve uh, let's do a hoodie so I can show you how that works because there is an automatic feature here that will resize your design for a hoodie and for a pop socket Okay, so for the hoodie, what we're going to have to do is resize it. So down here, you're going to hover over where it says convert hoodie, convert to hoodie size and click that and it'll automatically pop up a, um, a tool here. Okay, so just save that as new hoodie and you can click here and go ahead and upload it and it will be the right size. So how cool is that? That saves you a ton of time. And it's just something that, you know, I didn't upload hoodies on a lot of designs because I was like too lazy to go back and upload. And I was like, I'll do it later, but I never did, of course. Um, so yeah, you can see how, kind of how that works. I think in gray and make it $35. Um, and let's see what else we have here. Yeah, you can also copy and paste colors, so anything that you copy and paste, you can paste it to different uh, different designs up here. You can select all, deselect all, probably put this on a gray, and put that, leave it at 
And let's see what else we have. Oh, so for pop sockets, this is really cool actually. So you can put it on either a white or a black background. So for white text, obviously you want to go with a black background. And you just do the same thing. You just click on it and it will automatically pop up. And then we can save that as new pop socket and it's good to go. Um, now, one thing that I do with my pop socket sometimes is I have to manually resize them because it doesn't always look quite good. Um, but this one looks really, really good. Um, it's kind of a cute little uh, southern phrase that we say sometimes. So um, I'll probably just go ahead and upload that. Why not, huh? Um, uh, let's see. Why don't we just go ahead and put in Alabama and gift. Okay, um, so once we've done all that, I want to show you another feature that is pretty cool. So you can actually copy this and go over to German, and we'll have to go up and select that we want to do a German t-shirt, even though we really don't, because I don't think anyone in Germany is going <laughs> to be buying a Bless Your Little Heart shirt. So, so once I copy and paste that, check this out. So there's a button here that will... Um, convert this to German. So translate listening to German. You just click that and then it automatically gets translated. And sometimes I've found that the titles become too long after they are translated to German. So that is one thing that you have to worry about. And in this case, it seems to be true. So that was too long. You have to cut it down just one word. Um, and basically you can translate that to German and then you don't have to worry with um, trying to do the translation yourself. So let's just get rid of that and I'll go back and show you um, a few more features with the upload tool. This to me is a really big time saver and honestly I'm surprised that they are not charging for it yet. Um, it only has like, I think, let me see here. I think it said there was 7,000 users. Uh, 7,080 users and 113 reviews. So, oh, there's our boy, uh, Ryan Raymond. If you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, definitely check that out because it's a great Merch by Amazon channel. He's like one of the people who are actually doing Merch by Amazon and not talking about it, but actually doing it. So, yeah, definitely check that out. But anyways, standard shirt a long sleeve shirt, a hoodie, and a pop socket that we've uploaded in a really short amount of time. And it just, I think it is a game changer because I was very like lazy about uploading hoodies and pop sockets before because it just takes forever. And it seems like it's almost not even worth it because how, how little that they actually sell um, when you do upload them. So let's pop over here and I'll show you a couple more features before we save and publish this. So here we want to look at the um, hover to check copyright option. So you click this and hover over everything and it will check your copyright. So it will also automatically flag anything that it feels like is a um, bad term. Like for instance, what if I just type, yeah, it just turns red. Like glitter is not a word that you want to use on here because it's just going to turn red. Um, so let's see what else I can talk to you about. Yeah, there are some features to automate your bullet points and there are so much on this program that you can do that I can't possibly talk about it all in one video without boring you to death. But I wanted to show you the other upload features because this is a real time saver. So say we have all of this information in. We have our typical prices and we have everything that we want to do. Um, we're going to go down and make sure that we hit save publish settings. So you want to go ahead and save that and it will automatically be what pops up every time you try and do a shirt now. So let's go into review and submit and then we're going to submit all those products. Okay, so as you can see, it took us back to the manage page and you can see all of those products are now under review. Um, I'm just going to click here really quick and show you that it still saved the um, draft. So click add new product again and we're going to show you what all pops up. So everything that we had previously selected before is still going to be selected. So if you want to change your template or you want to make new templates, you can do that. Just make sure that when you are uploading on a kid's design that you make sure that you don't have any um, profanity or anything that's suggestive because I got some rejections in the past week or two because I was just in a hurry and I accidentally had a kid shirt selected um, when I had some uh, not so nice designs going up. 
So even the title is still pre-filled here. So if you don't want the title to save each time, you just need to um, save a new draft before you write it in again and uh, go ahead and save it like that, save publish settings. Um, but yeah, that is probably the most useful stuff that I've seen for Merch in a really, really long time. And shout out to people who have been making this possible and to people who have been making um, content about it. I know one of the comments in one of my videos was the person who turned me on to it. So thank you very, very much for that. Um, there are a lot more tools here, but without um, revealing any of my shirts, it's hard to show you some things. But I will show you that you can use this in the search results of looking up Amazon shirts, as long as you have it up in your browser. So I just typed in feminist cat shirt. This is pretty much doing um, a lot of the things that uh, Merch Informer does. It tells you keywords, long tail keywords, suggested keywords, and it also tells you um, a little bit of statistics about this and check this out so when I hover over each thing it's gonna tell me um, the bestseller rank automatically the estimated sales and telling me the keywords that they used in their title so this is invaluable information really and truly the only thing that I don't like about it is that of course you know it pops up everything else so we have to dig through those but I will tell you that if you're competing on Amazon you really are competing with everyone even though that is not a merch by Amazon shirt if it is popping up on the first page that is still your competition so um, I just keep that in mind and we can scroll through and look at different designs for a second you can tell that the um, estimated sales on here are um, seems like a little bit more accurate than um, some other platforms um, with a rank like 612,000 it's got estimated sales of being three now keep in mind um, sales rank is constantly uh, growing because there are always more shirts getting added and more shirts selling so the more time that merch by Amazon exists the more time a 500,000 rank is going to become a great rank so it's just like anything on Amazon so another thing that we can do up here is we can um, rank by the bestseller. So once we do that, we rank by BSR, we can um, see the merch shirt that is doing the best, 47,000. Um, that is <laughs> super funny, actually. Um, that is selling an estimated 42 times a month, and it looks like they are doing pretty well with that. Over here we have... I don't know what this has to do with cats. Oh, I typed feminist cats. Um, this is also a sponsored shirt, so keep in mind that they are running um, targeted ads to this shirt, and that one is selling estimated 10 times a month. Here's another one. This one's rank is 227, 904, estimated sales nine times a month, and they price their shirt at $19.99. Um, I'm a big fan of pricing at $17.99 or $19.99. I don't like to price super low because I feel like, honestly, it just becomes not even worth it. The only time I price low is when there are already a lot of people competing, and I just need to get my shirt in the initial sale so it can get boosted up in the results. And then once it gets the initial sale, I go ahead and price it a little bit higher. Um, Cats Against Cat Calls. I really like this shirt. It's super cute and it is selling only seven times a month. So um, let's go look at Cats Against Cat Calls and see what else we can find. Cats Against Trump. That's funny. Uh, I hope you guys are uploading Trump shirts because my Trump shirts are selling uh, a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, so Cats Against Cat Calls. This is, I'm sorry guys, it is um, not showing the BSR because I have it blurred. I will have to pause for just a second and unblur it. Okay, I've got the BSR ranks up now. So we can see this Cats Against Cat Calls. This is um, one that is ranked 2.9 million. That is selling still one time. Um, that is the estimated sales. And then this one's selling six times with 311. Uh, thousand. Scroll down a bit and look at some more. So these are all really similar. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Um, if this is the same person or not. Uh, one loose shoe, funny cats lover gift, and cats against cat calls. Yeah. So these are all different people trying to sell the same exact design. Um, let's scroll down just a little bit more. And we can look at some long sleeves and different things like that. This is a really great design, and I think this was a bestseller at some point. Um, it seems to have gone down quite a bit, but let's just click on that real fast. 
So um, you can see the features are pretty helpful and it is a good way to just kind of check out your competition just a little bit and see what's going on with that. But yeah, Productor for Chrome um, and as a Merch by Amazon tool I think is really, really valuable. So I will um, leave a link to the um, free Chrome extension in the comment section below. Um, would appreciate a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you want more Merch by Amazon content. Thanks so much guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.